Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey guys, I'm here with my EX30 and I'm about to do a firmware update. I've been hearing a lot of great things about the latest firmware in terms of adding power, acceleration, all the good stuff you want on a firmware update. Uh, but I don't want to sacrifice range to get that, uh, in significant range anyway, you know, like 10%, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on a little, not really a range test, but I'm going to take my northern uh, route that I, river route that I normally do from a range test. Uh, about 45 miles long. I'm going to uh, ride uh, sprightly. So in other words, all the opportunities I have, I, where, wherever I can ride as fast as I want on the riverbed, stuff like that. I'm going to go on about 30 miles an hour. I'll aim for that. I'll get back, uh, look at the, the voltage. So right now I'm 133.2. I took it off the charger a little while ago and it's slowly drifting down. <laughs> Get back, I'll measure the voltage. I'll do the firmware update, which will be a few seconds from, from now, from your perspective. And then uh, the next morning, I'm gonna do the same identical uh, route that I do. And then I'll look at the voltage and uh, see how, if there was any significant change. So I will uh, see you in a few seconds when I get back. All right, I'm back in a little over two hours and some stats. So the wheel's been sitting about five minutes. I'll let it just, the voltage uh, pop up a little bit, but I think it was 50% when I immediately stopped. So 116.4 volts. Average riding speed was 26.1 miles per hour, and that's wheel speed, so GPS was uh, slower. And it was about 46 miles. And uh, this display, the miles is wrong, but here, 46, that's GPS miles. Okay, so now I have uh, a baseline, and I'm going to install the latest firmware. Now, show you that process. I'm using EUC World, the best app ever for EUCs. And <laughs> Android only, sorry for you uh, iPhone guys and gals, but um, makes it very easy also to update the firmware. So let me uh, show you that process. All right, have the wheel is on and it's sitting back in the kickstand. Go see wheel firmware update I have all the options and I'm going for this latest one release date July 1st race mode no dip and that is selected click update I'm doing this in Wi-Fi, by the way. Oops, something restart up. Do it again. I've had this happen before. Ah, I think, let's see. We start app. I think I need to cycle power on the wheel.
Okay, updating firmware. I might have been doing that in the past. Ah, I keep forgetting. You gotta look down at this bottom of the screen. I think it just picks up where it left stop, left off. Firmer updated. There we go. Can you hear that motor? It was silent before and this this is common or this is what's been reported. It's just making grinding sounds. Just uh, <laughs> I kind of like it. I don't know. Makes it sound like it's got a lot of pent up energy in the wheel and it's just trying to get out. <laughs> okay, so um, again, it's, uh, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I started this ride at 730. Put the wheel away, recharge it up again, and tomorrow morning, which will be at a few seconds your time, I will uh, start the ride again and then uh, report back what uh, how it affected the range, if anything, and also if I notice uh, what I know is in, in the riding uh, speed. See in a few seconds. Okay, it is the next day. I just got back from my uh, repeat ride. What are the results to this uh, new amazing firmware upgrade? I'm going to tell you about it in a second. <laughs> Did it have an effect on the range? No. I would say zero effect, essentially. So on the interwebs, if you see anyone saying, oh, there's new uh, firmware, it uh, consumes more power, you know, I had something like 10%, um, they're smoking something. And if they say that, tell them to, give, tell them to provide uh, evidence uh, to back up their, uh, <laughs> to back, back that up. I'm gonna give you evidence, so. Uh, and there should be on the screen here, I'll be posting this. On um, yesterday's ride, it was 45.94 miles. Today, 45.96 miles. Pretty, pretty close, I would say. These are GPS values. Uh, yesterday, my max speed was 28.29 miles per hour. Today, it was 28.55, slightly slower. Or wait, let's see, no, slightly faster for the high speed. Um, my riding duration was two hours, 23 seconds today, or yesterday. Today is two hours, one minute, 46 seconds. Uh, let's see, yesterday my moving average speed was 22.9 miles per hour and uh, today 22.65 so slightly slower <laughs> essentially I think it's for a two hour ride as close as you can get to being identical <laughs> uh, right now the voltage is sitting at 116.8 volts 54% battery <laughs> I think yesterday I was saying it was about uh, I'll confirm this up here, but 53%. When I ended the ride, it was uh, 51%. And I think yesterday it was 50%. You know, of course, when it sits for five minutes, it rises up a little bit. So it's all, to me, it's all in the noise. Essentially, the values are the same. And, uh, okay, so getting that out of the way, uh, if you have an EX30 and you're not running the latest firmware, firmware dated July 1st, the one that says race no dip, you gotta get it. You gotta you gotta get it, guys. <laughs> it's amazing. It's kind of transformed this wheel. I'm kind of blown away. Uh, the acceleration is very noticeable. I mean. Uh, 
obviously it was fast wheel before it, but now it just wants to get up and go. I have, it, it just accelerates like crazy now. And then the no dip. Okay, so uh, I've been riding wheels. I've been riding Gatway Bagold wheels for seven years. And uh, I think they finally solved the no dip. <laughs> it only took them seven, eight years to, to do it. Whoever they hired to do, the, to do that, uh, give, give that person a raise. Yeah, it's amazing. The, uh, I ride in medium mode lately. And uh, so it still has late pedal dip forward when accelerating and braking, which is I like. It's good. But doing any kind of turving, turning, hard turning, or doing any kind of high speed, uh, you know, carving turns, the pedals just pull up slightly, and it 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 just it feels beautiful. <laughs> uh, you get so much more sense of control in turning because of that uh i love it wow i'd say the only downside and i put that in quotes is the motor noise like right now i can barely hear it but if you're in a quiet room uh, like if you're reading a book and your wheels on you're probably not going to like this firmware update <laughs> but you know and w once you step on the wheel and start moving you know it's there's nothing, right? It's only when it's standing still, it's like, rah, 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 rah. it's like it's, it's got a bunch of energy in there and wants to rah, get out and uh, wow. So uh, huge thumbs up to this uh, firmware uh, upgrade. And I guess for the you guys who really race like 50 mile per hour, uh, everyone's been saying it's who's used it, it's gotten rid of the oscillation issue at those high speeds uh, so it's like a win all the way around get that update guys get it you will love it all right well, i hope this uh, video was beneficial useful and until next time safe riding <laughs>